Here's the new Battle of the Planets Phoenix model kit, also known as a Gotcha Man in Japan, as you see, the G. And this is a really big kit. It's really nice. Can't wait to get this thing put together. It's funny, uh, back, back when I was little, I was probably, probably eight, around eight, eight, nine years old maybe when this came out. And I just love this show. And since that age, I figure you could get anything that you wanted for Christmas, I would ask Santa for one of these. A life-size one. So, I went out in the backyard with some string and some sticks. Staked it all off. Just measure it, make sure it can fit in the backyard. And, uh... You know, I feel like, you know, I got this. I got this nice, got it to scale. This will be great. Of course, lo and behold, I was disappointed that morning when I looked out the window and did not see it. But I figured that was just too tall of an order. It's really neat. And one of the requirements I had, uh, or request, <laughs> uh, when I when I was wanting to get that Phoenix, I had to. Uh, I was. Asked, I made sure I asked that it had a telephone with it. Just your old. Of course, they were all uh, corded phones back then. But um, yeah, I had to have a telephone with it. That way, while we was after we were flying around in the clouds and doing stuff. Mom would be able to call us and tell us it's time to come home for supper. I know that's it's silly, but it's just one of the little things I remember. This is really, really neat. It says there's no uh, paint or glue required for this kit. So it should go together pretty easy. At least I hope so. Not sure whether I want to do any weathering on it. I mean... I just have to see how it turns out. All right, well, let me get started on this thing. I have noticed this plastic is a little softer than some of the other model kits I've put together. But it's coming off the sprues pretty good. It has a lot of fine, precise parts. But they're all holding really good. Every single one of these parts that I've been taking off of the sprues, I have been carefully trying to cut them loose and shave them down just a little bit. This thing is precise. I've been waiting to get into this bag. Love that translucent stuff. Still not staying on good. Probably have to glue that one. 
I don't see how else it could do it together. I'll be flying and... Okay, I had to glue these two. Uh, neither one of them would stick. So, there you have it. They'll stick now. Some really small parts here. That's a tough one. Sure looks cool though. <laughs> feel it gets really snug when you get it in the right spot. Now that's looking pretty sharp right there. These things fit in real nice and smooth. This is an optional part. So if you need the, if you want to show the bird missiles firing from the top, looks like they'll snap down in there. And you can put this short piece on. Or you can just put this long piece on right here, like so. Like there's a little tab right there, so you can swap it back and forth if you need to. But we'll leave it like this for right now. We'll set these extra parts aside. It looks like all the landing gear has optional parts. You can either have it deployed or closed. All right, here's several of the optional parts for the bottom. Looks like we got the landing gear, which you can put on all three of those, or you can put the little cap on it. And the same goes here for these bird missiles. You can either, either display it like that or cover it up with a cap. And I've noticed every one of them has a really, really small sl finger slit, fingernail slit, so you can get the part back off relatively easy. So let's see for now. I think I'll just put, I'll put the landing gear on. Put those two on. 
Now I'm leaving this piece off for right now because in order to put this on a on the display stand, it says to leave this off. So I gotta see how that goes. That's pretty cool. This, the base of the stand is it's just like the uh, the button they use to fire the bird missiles in the cartoon. Yeah, I can't quit doing that. <laughs> now here's the optional parts for the bottom. Uh, it's like you can have the engines covered, like so. They're easy to pop off and on if you snap them in. Or you can have them shown like that. And this piece right here, I mean, I can get it back out, but it has to stay out if it's going to go on the stand. But it's, I mean, it's a little tricky, but as far as snapping the stand, though, it looks great. Pops in there real easy. But not exactly sure how I want to do everything yet. So... We'll get it figured out when I get towards the end. Depends on how I want to display it. Now here's a really strange step. You can build this ship like so. Third on. Okay, so you can build the leadership like this. But the problem is, this will not fit into the back, as you may already know. So they included this variation right here. So, it's like it's gonna take it apart. So, make this weird shape. That should just fit in here. There we go. Now, there is a decal that will make this front of this right here red. see in the picture right there it's white in the back and red in the front but like I said there's a decal sheet that should achieve that pretty good so anyway sort of depends on whether you want the ship or you want the third wing which that's the way it's supposed to look <laughs> There's the motorcycle. And I had to glue this right here together because this right here broke right in the very back. But it's fine. Uh, 
Okay, so here's all three vehicles. There's the car in the front, motorcycle on this side, and this amphibious vehicle on this side. There's also these panels that you can put on the undersides to cover them up. Well, you can't cover the vehicles up, you just cover the holes up. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing that's kind of crazy about this show is the main character is voiced by Casey Kasem. So every time I would hear America's Weekend Top 40, I'd get kind of weirded out because I'm thinking, why is the main character on the radio announcing songs? But anyway, Casey Kasem did several other popular animated voices. I just always thought that was kind of interesting. Last few little pieces to hook on. Now to hook this nose cone on, I'll have to take this, I'll have to take the car off of the front. And it looks like these two tabs right here will just snap in. There we go. So I'm going to change out these panels on the underside and swap a few things around. Probably change these landing gear. We've got to get it in flight mode. It all comes off pretty easy. few more things to do. We'll get this red on here. It's got it's got a lot of decals and stickers, which most of this I'm not going to use. And these vehicles are extremely tiny and they're the only thing that's also not painted. So here's the last few optional pieces. You got the fire that you stick on the front. You just put it on like that. So it looks like it's transforming into the fiery phoenix. And then you've also got these two engine thrusters. And they snap on pretty easy like that. Now this, these are optional. Of course, there's a couple small little caps, I guess you just what you call them, that will go into the back, into the, into the center, right there. But once you put those in, you can't put these on. So, I mean, you, you can get them back out, but it's a bit tough. But anyway, this, these, these orange pieces are sharp. Be careful. In fact, even these have a warning. You know, it said the danger, warning of in, risk of injury. Anyway, they're just really, really, really sharp. But, looks pretty cool though. All right. Just got to finish putting a few decals on and I'll be done with it. Now it includes a sticker sheet and a sheet of water decals right here. And what's strange is I use the sticker right here for this side. And as you see, it don't quite come up to the very tip. And I used the decal on this side, which I like the color of it. And it's really good and sharp, comes all the way up. 
but even after drying overnight, it's still, still wanting to just pop right off. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I'm probably just going to put a sticker on this, uh, this side right here. Okay, so here's the finished model. It turned out pretty good. The only stickers I used was this one on the wing and these two right here on the top fin. And I thought it turned out quite nice. So, thanks for watching. I just gotta figure out where to hook this at.